Hey, welcome to Logo Day. We have a project that we're going to do, which is a boiler ignition schedule system. And when we're all done with our programming, you'll see something like this. Uh, <clears throat> the purging system, purging cycle allows us then to purge uh, any, any air that might be or any gas that might be into the system. We'll then move on to the next to pressurize the system and in each case there's a delay. <clears throat> the final process then is there's a, a delay time to get cleared for ignition and then once all three of those things have been satisfied the system then is clear for the ignition of each one of the boilers and you can see boiler one, two, and three. We have the switches for them. The inputs into our logo machine <clears throat> the interesting thing too though is that each one of these will not start unless all of these features above here the purge cycle pressurization and clear system for ignition have all been satisfied and then and only then will the boiler begin to start so really the process today though is the ability to set this all up using our screen colors for both the logo and the local TD. We changed the screen color three times and then we'll add text to that background which we have over here. So we have a delay on then and the text box here then will say purge cycle. The second one says pressurizing and then the third one then says clearing system for ignition. So let's get right at it. I've already got a, a brand new screen for us to go and get started. So our initial input will come here and this will be our uh, a start ignition system. So this one then starts the uh, boiler ignition schedule. So let's go ahead and type that in. Okay, and that gives us a note then over the top of our input for input number one. Now I've changed the text on this and we have a uh, change the font to Comic Sans. I kind of like that. And then let's just make that a little bit smaller. And I want that to be bold so that would be something. But we don't necessarily need to have quite that large of a text. The next thing then is that we want to uh, change the background color of our logo and the TD. The logo is the actual controller and the TD is the little indication window or panel that might be planted uh, on top of or in front of the controller. Those are flags. So let's input two flags. And in this particular case, let's wire them up then. And as I double snap on them, it allows me then to change the colors. Our first one that we want to start with would be the uh, red background for our logo controller. The next one then is the red background for our TD, which is number 37, or 31, I'm sorry. Now you can touch on these, double snap on them and it turns blue, or if you know the numbers, you can pick off of them. I don't know what all these numbers stand for. All I know is that we've got uh, right here, we've got 25 through 31 that our logo will use. And we'll pick the, uh, the number 31 and then pick OK. Now, we'll um, just leave these by themselves. Let me just stagger them a little bit so that we can see the wording. And now we want to have words actually appear in the window of our logo and the TD and that is a message text so we can come down here to the bottom and pull up a message text let's connect it and then when I double stamp on it then I can put those words so we want <clears throat> to write only in the green area because that's where the logo machine will appear anything outside the green 
will not appear on the screen. So we want both the logo display and the TD to have it. So we have it checked as both. So the wording that I want to put in here is purge cycle. And then uh, it will not show up. If I close this out, notice that those words don't appear at the top. So just for the uh, idea of presentation and to let somebody know what that used for, I recommend that you write that in as well. You either write it in as the comment or I can actually uh, put it in as text. But the nice thing is now that people know what this, this text box is going to say and we have it right on the screen. So let me just change that size a little bit and then reduce that to the 14. Okay. Our next is de a delay. We want this to uh, uh, delay just a bit as we run through it. So we want to delay on. So we give, it, give the system time to start up. And this would be our delay relay, our delay on. So let's do on delay. And let's go back and set it up for 30 seconds. Now, it might be it might take the, a large system to do longer than that, but I just find it really boring to watch something count down in the educational system. And as I sit here and watch it, I, I just need it to speed up just a little bit faster. All right, next then is our output. So this then would be our green light on the display panel, which would be our output. And here is the words that I want to use then is for our um, purge cycle complete. And then let's go ahead and give it uh, some text here that this is actually going to be a green light. So let's use a text box over here and then let's, so that it will give our students an opportunity to put text in, the, in it as well. And then it goes along together like this. All right, next. Now, once this is all completed, then this output then will energize the next series, and that would be the pressurization. So let's start that next series. Uh, we want the face of the logo to change colors at this point. So it's kind of a visual on what we want to happen. So let's move this down just a little bit and I know we're going to be running out of space here so I need to make sure that I move things up. So this one then we want to be an amber background. So let's pick out the amber background for the logo which is number 28 and for our TD it is 30 so let's pick on that. Let's separate these a little bit so we can see the wording. And then the same process. We want a message text. Let's change that. So this system then is pressurizing. And I can do better. And then again, put that comment here at the top so that an individual, 
when they look at it they realize what this is doing for them and if I can spell pressurizing we would be in better shape there's no spell check with this controller so you need to pay attention to what you're what you're typing all right so we don't really need it that big so let's just reduce that some now we could let's say for example here we could bold that text and bold this one that's kind of a kind of a big deal for us that it's uh, being registered our next is a delay on simple drop and drag uh, I do like straight lines but I do also separate so that we can actually see what the warning looks like click here let's set this one for 30 and then again on delay let's give it that notation Let's shrink that sum. And then our next output. So this then would be another green light. And as you'd be sitting here watching this sequence occur, it would be the idea that an individual has to walk through all of these steps. System is pressurized. And let's get that out of the way. All right, next. Same thing. So we pressurized, we purged, pressurized, and now we want to clear the system for our ignition. So now go back, same thing. I'm going to put in two flags. Now this then uh, would be the white backgrounds. This one then would be number 25. Whoop, 25. This then would be 26. Let's separate them. Connect, text box, text message. We want these things then to occur in a sequence. Now this one I'm going to have to put in probably three lines or so. Clearing. system for ignition okay Looks like a winner. Again, this text that I'm putting in now is only for the benefit of the reader. And we definitely want to make that smaller. A lot of words here. Let's make it a 12. There we go. A little easier to see, so let's line things up real nicely because we've got three more boilers we have to add. And again, we want to delay on. The delay on then allows the system to 
uh, React. But it gives the students an opportunity to use a bunch of different opportunities here with, with our logo machine. And then let's get our last output. Once this last one then is sequenced, then we're clear to start. And this again would be, uh, uh, let's use the text box. I didn't put green light. We could put another green light or we could actually make it a different color. But as long as we have it all done, green lights really are kind of a big deal because people think you know green light go so we've got that one done and then our last one then would be uh, system is clear for ignition and this could be written on the panel I guess we did make that a little darker. I just got more words there. And then also text box for green light. So those are our three that we would initially throw this and then the operator would wait for it to cycle. You know, some of these could even cycle even longer. I guess I didn't put the, got to put in the time for that one, but put in 30 tenths of a second. And at least this allows us to get stuff done. Uh, next, now that these are complete, we have an opportunity that we can start the boiler. And once all three of these are lit, then we can get our switches. So let's get our inputs. So our inputs now would be two, three, and four. And this is easy enough. Let's just put boiler number one. If I can spell boiler, this would be Boiler number two. And boiler number three. Organizing this is kind of a big deal so that we can have individuals, when you look at this, it's a little easier to see. And we know then that this whole system is one, this one two, and then this one three. And now we'll add our boiler sequences. Now, uh, in order for this, all of this to work, we had to have this completed and we have to throw this switch. So we have an AND relay here under basic functions that will put three of them here. And we'll take our first input there, second input and the third input.
Uh, well, that didn't work out. What is going on here? Let's move that up. Okay. So now we'll take a look at these three. And connect. And connect. All right. So now let's get our boiler input started. One, remember that it takes both of these switches in order for us to get started. And now we have then our ability to send it to the boilers and that's really, really what we want to do. And then let's label those. So those would be outputs. So output then for this would be our boiler number one, connect, boiler number two, And then, whoa. There we go. That was a tough one. And then boiler number three. Okay, notice now that when I'm putting these outputs out here, which are labeled cues, notice that each time one is placed out on the screen, they're, they're eliminated from the list so that there's no chance that you could actually put two of them with the same input. So logo keeps track, and the same way with our inputs, logo keeps track of the number of inputs that we have, so we can't make one go twice. So we don't uh, uh, we don't have two inputs with the same number. That would be very confusing for our machine, and it's nice that we take care of that. So the project is complete. Let's go ahead and set the simulator up. The simulator now. It's going to allow us to see all of this stuff. You can see then that our Q1 is down here, which would be the first thing that I'm going to throw. And then you'll be able to watch the whole system as it runs through uh, in order to accomplish our first initial startup. And then we'll be able to come down here then and attach uh, boiler 1, 2, and 3. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. So now here is our system. Notice that it's counting down, and this is what's happening in our logo screen. You see then that it's the purge cycle. Once this times out, once it hits the 30, which even still seems a long time when you're watching it. Now we've gone to pressurizing. And you can see it's counting down. Still waiting, still waiting, still waiting. Still waiting. <laughs> and 
And we get to 30, and now system, clearing system for ignition. So let's move this up to the top so you can see this happen. And you can see that the lights come on. But notice, though, that if I try to turn any of the boilers on, nothing happens. So there's no way that I can get a pre-ignition with these boilers until this, all three of these get completed. So there you are. All of this stuff is ready now. And now I can start boiler number one. I can start boiler number two. And I can start boiler number three. So it has to go through its cycles in order to be able to be complete all the way through the system. And um, this pretty well completes our lab exercise for today. The system is set up for delay for each of the cycles to complete. And then a check light on the panel to, will turn on to allow the operator to see and wait for the cycles to be completed. So... Hey, thanks for coming, and uh, this will complete our uh, complete our uh, logo day for for this exercise.